Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to uh, discuss about clean architecture in ESP.NET Core. So first of all in your mind uh, that is what is clean architecture. Uh, just uh, take an example uh, of that topic. Uh, you can see uh, that diagram. Um, here we have a domain and application and infrastructure and the framework and uh, in the left side you can see the UI and database in the right side and the bottom bar you can see that uh, external systems so uh, the definition is uh, if any changes in the uh, external layer there is a no direct effect or you can say that direct effect or indirect effect on the domain and application layer that means of the clean architecture so uh, if i change framework ui database core of the system uh, should not be changed that is the separation of the part that is the core of the system should not be changed i mean to say that a domain and the application will not change will not changed if any changes in uh, these fields framework infrastructure external systems database and the ui so will not change in the core okay so you can say external dependencies are completely replaceable i mean to say that uh, framework infrastructure external system ui are completely uh, replaceable so that is the uh, clean architecture i mean to say that you can uh, you can define a separation of concern between the classes and the between the projects so layer contain enterprise logic the domain layer contain enterprise logic as well as the application layer contain the business logics okay so both are uh, both are uh, both are core of the system so you can see that application and the domain are both are the core of the system so there is a no changes if any changes in the framework infrastructure ui external and db so here we uh, you can see uh, separation of concern I mean to say that in VC and the next thing is if any changes in the external system DB UI infrastructure framework there is a no effect occurs on domain and application layer that is the definition of clean architecture in clean architecture all dependencies flow inwards and core has no dependencies on any other layer so you can say that the dependencies flow inwards i mean to say that if any changes in the domain and application so changes occurs in infrastructure and the framework and the ui as well but if any changes in application any changes in infrastructure framework and ui action system there is no changes in domain and application also uh, framework infrastructure and ui and database uses application as well as domain layer so you can see that in the clean architecture all dependencies flow inward and core has no dependencies on any other layer so there is a no uh, dependencies uh, on the domain layer and application layer so there is a uh, there is a free uh, layer you can say so so uh, but infrastructure and presentation layer depends on the core so uh, framework and infrastructure and ui layer depend on the domain and application layer but the domain and application layer is not dependent on infrastructure and framework so you can say uh, let's take a simple word uh, application layer uh, just uh, taken here uh, application layer application and and the domain not depend any other layer but application but uh, UI DB infrastructure depend on domain and application layer okay understood so that is the clean architecture 
so the what are the benefits of the clean architecture anytime we can change the ui without changing the rest of the system and the business logics that is the main benefit of the uh, clean architecture and the next thing is highly testable okay so independent of the database and the framework also okay so let's get started and take an example of the clean architecture in the clean architecture uh, three projects are in the solution the first one is the application core layer and the second one is infrastructure layer and the third one is the API, web api layer okay so let's take an example and wait for the second video tutorial to uh, more about clean architecture so thank you very much uh, for watching this please don't forget uh, please subscribe my channel and if you want to learn more many things about asp.net core please 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 click on the bell icon also thank you very much